Hello everybody, Matt here. Today we're at Target. Let's see what they have for Hot Wheels. Right away we do see the Jaguar here. And it is from Hot Wheels 2021 EK, so nice to see some new Hot Wheels for a change. And it feels good to get back out and look for Hot Wheels. It's been a while for me as I worked a lot last week and a half. But I finally have some free time. Right here we do see the Conan say, I did get this one. Not a bad find. We'll keep on looking. We do see the Chevelle. So there was a mix of new and some older Hot Wheels here. It's like a muscle bound. Not a bad find there. We do see another Jaguar. I did spend a little more time looking through just because I want to see if I can find anything else. They did have the pretty cool Plymouth Fury. I do have this one, but not a bad find. Some more Hot Wheels up there. Keep on looking, looks like another coming sig there. Though not any more EK set I could find. Uh, that was kind of it. There was Hot Wheels ID. We do see the Jaguar there, the Twin Mill. They did have the Lamborghini as well, a very nice one. Time Taxi. There were Hot Wheels 9 packs. Some okay cars. There was the Chevelle there. And they did have that Hot Wheels RC. I didn't actually show that, but that was there as well. There were Hot Wheels 5 packs. Quite a lot of them, including the Hot Wheels Sports here. Kind of cool. Hot Wheels Legends, the Corvette 5 pack, which is a nice one. I wonder if we'll get another theme 5 pack like Corvette or Lamborghini again here soon. There were some 20 packs here. As you can see. So not bad, good to see Target pretty stocked up on Hot Wheels and they did have Hot Wheels car culture as well. We do see the Lotus from the British Horsepower set, pretty nice. I think it's a pretty cool set. We do see the Morris Mini here as well. And the Land Rover Defender in green. And they did have this Jaguar I did get this one. I think it looks pretty cool with the white and blue stripes. And I have not gotten a premium Hot Wheel in a little while now, so I thought I'd pick that one up. They still had some Power Trip here. I think the Hot Wheels Power Trip set is a pretty nice set, though I will say it's probably the most common car culture set I've actually seen since I started collecting Hot Wheels. We do see the Aston Martin from the Fast and Furious Hero Fast set. Like there's been some car culture sets that I didn't even see. I believe it was, the name's not coming to me, but there was a set from like a year, a little over a year ago that I didn't actually see in stores. I guess it just kind of depends sometimes. We do see the Hot Wheels team transports.
What was the fast racer pullback? I should have said team transport, not team transports. For some reason, I thought it said that. There was a Mario Kart 4 pack there, and they did have Hot Wheels Flying Customs, including the Pontiac Firebird in purple. Kind of cool. And they did have the El Camino. This one, I do have. So yeah, plenty of the El Camino and Firebirds. There was a Porsche here as well. And Fast and Furious Spy Racers behind there. They did have Hot Wheels color shifters, including the Dodge Viper. Now down the aisle, they did have tons of these Hot Wheels monster truck stuff. Pretty fully stocked. Do you see the cheap there? And the taxi. There was NASCAR cars as well. And they did have Matchbox super fast and some main lines for Matchbox hiding there, but really actually not much. I think it was only one. They still had some of this retro set in stock. They also had the Porsche. Not too bad. But yeah, kind of disappointed that there wasn't really anything for Matchbox main lines. There was the Matchbox buy pack here. And then finally, we did have these pull back and let go cars. A very nice selection. Right here is a nice Lotus. Pretty cool with the black and yellow stripes. And it's nice to see some new ones. And there was the red Lamborghini here. There was also the Ford GT and another 4GT. So yeah, the newer one and the one from the previous generation there. I think that's like a Mercedes pickup truck. They also had the Camaro and they had the Corvette, very nice. There was another Lamborghini here. And then finally, there was this Dodge Viper and I honestly think it's the coolest one I've seen. I almost grabbed this. Looks really nice in the red and how it says Viper. Pretty nice. I've always liked Dodge Vipers, so. And then finally, there was some more die cast items, as you can see, but that was pretty much what was here. I ended up getting the Jaguar and the Koenigsegg, so thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe for more, and have a good day. Bye.